Next up, we have Nail, Bay Area organizer of Poor People's Campaign. Hello, everybody. Everybody's got a right to live, right? Everybody's got a right to live. Housing is a basic human right. The Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival, is picking up the radical legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, who said when poor people across lines of division, from all points of geography, come together and make our demands heard, we will be a new unsettling force in this nation. And we're seeing some of that right here, right now. If you look at who's here, it's all of us. Young, disabled, queer, women, children, right? White people, people of color. It's all of us, all of us are under attack. They come for the homeless first. They attack the poor. They say we're immoral. And that's why they're attacking us. What could be more immoral than 47% of California's population living as poor or low income in the world's fourth largest economy? <laughs> 18 million people in California. That's a lot of people. So the organizing we do centers the leadership of those who are most directly impacted by what we call the interlocking injustices, and they start with systemic poverty. They include racism. They include ecological devastation because we're the first and worst impacted. It includes militarism and the war economy because 62 cents out of every dollar that the U.S. has to spend for discretionary use goes to the military. That's outrageous. And it spawns this culture of violence in this country and around the world. So we're organizing, starting with those who are first and worst impacted. And so these are some of our state demands. We were here two weeks ago, and we were here a month ago, and then we're gonna be back, okay? Because these people here, are the legislators. This is where the laws for the state are crafted, debated, passed, vetoed, corrupted, right? And so we're here to say to them that we demand that we be recognized as full human beings, five-fifths, 100% of the time, 100. So, we brought these demands. I'm just going to read the first one to you. We talked to our folks. We included Wood Street folks. Their demand is wrapped up in our demand. It's the same demand, which is to guarantee affordable, decent, safe housing for everyone in California with adequate state funding and laws. Everyone has access to decent, safe, and affordable housing. Yet, in our wealthy state, an estimated 172,000 people are homeless. The largest homeless population of any state in the U.S. and 30% of the national total. And 3.2 million tenants in California are rent burdened, which means they are spending 30% or more of their income on housing costs. The state must allocate adequate funding and fast-track housing programs. The state should also help to pay the increase, to help pay, it should also help to stop the increase in homelessness by enacting laws to ensure people can stay housed. Embed housing is a human right in our state constitution. ACA 10, housing is a human right. That's under debate right now to make it a constitutional right in California to be housed. And we're not talking about the Concord Naval Station. <laughs> Enact rent control statewide. Use all available funds to build deeply affordable housing, including reserves and fast-track projects to provide desperately needed housing for millions of Californians. Grant funds promised. Grant funds promised for affordable student housing. Provide free legal support for renters facing eviction and strengthen the rights of renters who make up almost half the population. 
And so those are the demands we bring, and we know that ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the power people don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop!